What's going on guys? I'm back with some more Madden 12 ranked matches, or actually just one ranked match today as usual. And I'm still kind of been on my cold streak. I've been playing a lot of Madden since I got home because I really want to get that victory and kind of turn around how I've been playing lately on Madden. It hasn't been very good. And so here I am. I have the Houston Texans taking on the Dallas Cowboys. We're battling for the state of Texas. And what has been a reoccurring trend in these games I've been playing lately? I've been giving up very quick scores and out of the gate Miles Austin burns my zone coverage Glover Quinn could not handle him and he torched me for a big touchdown so now I'm on offense I just got to get points on the board and that's my goal right now I got to play good defense as well but offense has to step up as well so Kenyon Coleman sacks me back and now it's third down and seven shot back to pass and we'll hit Andre Johnson running the slant over the middle and we're gonna get the first down so now we got Arian Foster in the backfield we'll give him the ball and man he's about as much fun to run with as Adrian Peterson maybe Adrian's my favorite but Arian is probably my number two back in Madden 12 he is fun electric and this Texans offensive unit can block very well and so you can get a lot of touchdowns with Arian Foster. This is a good team to bounce back with because they're very good all around. And now he's trying to go to Miles Austin once again. I'm there with Glover Quinn, but when you're having a cold streak like me, usually your guys drop those user picks, and that's what happened here. And then he hits Laurent Robinson on a slant at 16 yards, and now he's going to hand the ball off to DeMarco Murray, and I'm not sure exactly what happened there. The fumble thing didn't even pop up on the screen, that little tab that says fumble. And so I think he tried to pitch it back maybe on accident. I'm not not sure but I got the ball and then I give it right back to him we brought the heat Orlando Skandrick couldn't get Schaub and then someone forced the fumble and Skandrick picks it up and so we turn the ball over twice and he's back now I'm not really blitzing a lot in this game I, I noticed when I used to play better because I was editing a video of like back in April when I was playing better Madden and I noticed I really didn't blitz much when I was playing well and so maybe what I had to do was kind of just not worry about getting pressure by sending a bunch of players but focus Focusing on my coverage and having good coverage help my front four, front three get pressure. And so now I'm back on the ground game with Arian Foster. I got a so one of my comments on the last video said that when I run the ball, I'm doing really well, and then I keep going away from it. And so you know what? You're right. I gotta stick to what works. And Arian Foster. He is definitely working for me, and so now it's a tie game, 14 apiece, and he's not getting any running yards on me, and so now Romo back to pass, and there's that zone coverage stepping up for me, Brian Cushing gets the interception, and I usually play a lot better defense when I have good zone coverage, and I started to go away from it when it wasn't working as well, and I don't know, you just, sometimes on Madden you just switch things up and you forget what works after you don't play for a while, and then you just, you know, there's a couple things that you just don't think about when you're really struggling, and then he fix those things and you can get back to winning and so now I have the lead I've scored 21 points already a much better offensive performance that I've really been putting up lately and here's a Jason Witten route that I should have gotten covered with a purple zone but I did not and so third and three Hand the ball off up the middle, but it's not going to go anywhere. There's Brian Cushing again. He's going to go for it. Fourth down and three. Romo shotgun. Empty backfield. He takes the snap. Rolls to his right. Throws left side over the middle, and it's caught for a touchdown. Nice play, Des Bryant. But anyways, it's 21-21 now. I'm back on offense, and I threw that. I asked for that interception right there to Marcus Ware. That's what happens when you completely target one receiver, and you just make a bad decision, even though I was wasn't under pressure I could have waited and it was just a bad play overall and so now I'm playing defense he's in my red zone and I'm playing my zone coverage as I have been most of this game and he keeps going underneath of these slant routes, but it's going to be 4th and 2 coming up. He did kick the field goal, actually, this time. So it's 24-21. to 21. Shaw back to pass on 1st and 10. Why not take a shot deep for Andre Johnson? Because you know he's going to probably do that. I really hope in Madden 13 that the defensive backs can put up more of a fight against guys like Andre Johnson and Calvin Johnson. But it's 3rd and 10 I'm on offense. i got to get something going here. And one thing I did this game was I kept putting trips on one side. I would motion a receiver over. And really, that's where my success came on offense. And there, Andre Johnson, easy touchdown. And now I'm looking silly here on defense. He's got Miles Austin in the open field. We finally do track him down. And then he hands the ball off. And you're not going to get any rushing yards, man. Usually the Cowboys, they run all over me because they just pitched outside of Felix Jones or DeMarco Murray. But he's trying to run in between the tackles. 
tackles, and I'm just not letting him get anything. And then he does get another route over the middle, and that's going to injure Des Bryant and take him out of the game. I believe it was a herniated disc. And so now third and three, he tries the run again. Brian Cushing puts him down. Now fourth down and two. Romo, he's got Murray in the backfield. I'm playing man coverage this time. I bring down Daniel Manning, and he's going to get the one-handed interception. What, ha what happened there was I thought he was going to actually run the ball. And so I brought my safety down in the box. Then I saw it was a pass. I switched off of him. And he got the one-handed interception. I ended up kicking a field goal on this drive, assuming a seven-point touchdown lead. And now I just got to play one minute and three seconds of solid Texans defense. And, well, first play, Connor Barwin gets the interception. And that is going to be the nail in the coffin. I'll take a couple of knees. And that would be all she wrote. I got this victory. I bounced back a little bit. Arian Foster really helped me out. And I played good defense. And one thing about this game, I did not have one sack. I played better when I don't even... And try to pressure the quarterback. I did, however, have some interceptions. So, anyways, guys, a lot of some more ranked matches coming your way. Leave feedback on the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.